2007 Volvo C70 oil filter housing slash oil separator uh, replacement. I'm Brian Nessler from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through the steps of replacing. So this is kind of like a two-in-one unit, where it's an oil filter housing and also a oil uh, separator here, kind of like a PCV system on this particular car. And uh, we're gonna change that, and we're also gonna change the vent, the main vent hose for it too and that's that it's this hose here that goes under the, uh, the covers on the top of the uh, valve cover. So with that said we're going to start by um, removing the intercooler pipe here off and then we're going to take this these uh, covers off so there's going to be some torques under here you're going to remove the torque bolts and remove the top cover. Set the hose clamps here and then on the back side there's one little brace that goes down you're going to remove the bolt here and then there's going to be two hoses here you're going to pop these off and this one here has like a little squeeze tab, like so you'll squeeze the little blue tab, and then on the back side where you can't see it, but you'll you'll squeeze it, and then you pull the uh, the fitting off, and then remove the uh, hose cap here. There's also a little support bracket that's a little bit down here, a 10 millimeter bolt right about there. Next, I'm going to remove this main vacuum line here. To do that, I'm just going to take my fingers and pull this red tab in towards the intake manifold this way, and then with my other hand, slide the hose off. And it should come off really easily. So now I'm just going to kind of carefully tuck it out of the way. I'm going to grab the front of this cover right here and pull up and lift it straight off and set this aside. For that, I'm going to remove the 8 millimeter bolt here and here and pull the snorkel off here. So next, I'm going to unplug the mass airflow sensor. It has a little clip on the back side. You just squeeze and pull and remove. Next, we're going to unplug the uh, computer here. So the way we do that is if you Put a little screwdriver right here and you press down on this little little tab right here and with your other hand pull the switch over just like that and that'll unplug it and then you'll do the same thing for the lower switch except for this the tab is on the top right here so you'll push that and then you'll pull the red tab towards you towards upwards and then that'll unplug it. unplug like that and you just pull it off and set it aside like that after that what you're going to do is you're going to get a good firm grip down as low as you can on, on there or, or get a good grip like in the air cleaner here and it has these little rubber grommets here and there's one about right here and the one further in so maybe you can grab back here with your hand and you're going to pull and, and work on both sides and you're just going to keep pulling it until it getting it out. popped out of the grommets like that back and forth back here like this on the back side right here is going to be a, a torque screw you, that holds the wire harness to the air to the box here so we're going to remove that screw so after you get the uh, the torque bolt out of the wiring harness here the wiring harness is actually it has a little slot right down here so you're going to need like a little pry bar like this and then you'll slide it in between the pry, uh, the wiring harness and you'll pry, you'll pry the wiring harness off the air cleaner box assembly like that so after getting the wiring harness out, off there, um, I was I was able to just slide the air box assembly over. It didn't want to come out of the uh, car without taking the intake out or taking the fan shroud out, and I don't want to do all that. So I'm going to work around it. So by so I just slid it over about four or five inches to the right or towards the driver's side of the car. And now, as you can see, we can see the oil filter housing and the uh, and the oil. Now I'm going to reach back here and unplug the electrical connector for the heater. It has a little heating element in here that uh, help warm up the oil. So go ahead and unplug that. Now that we got the electrical connector off, you can see the 10 millimeter bolt uh, right under it. We're going to remove that bolt. And I just use a long extension for, uh, for wobbly on it to get to it. Since we're replacing this hose here, it goes down to the top right here. I'm just going to cut it off with my knife and then pull it up and then pull it up through the, uh, the intake manifold here. And then I'll cut the clamp off here and I'll just take it off completely. But I'm going to cut it as close as I can to the uh, body of it right here. And I just cut the hose off like that. I'm going to go ahead and, um, and pull it and pulled it through. I'm going to rack the vehicle up and get it up in the air. And then I'm going to take the lower shield so off. After the getting it up in the air and removing the lower shield. And it just had bolts that went around the perimeter of it. And just follow them around and remove them. The, the oil filter housing is... It's right here. So we're going to remove these 10 millimeter bolts here, here, and here. And then there's going to be a couple of uh, brackets actually bolted to it first. So like the dipstick, and uh, we may be able to actually get to those 
a little better from up top. Yeah, it looks like it. So I'm gonna lower it back down and take those off first, and then I'll take the 10 millimeter the housing off. here. And just, these are the, the uh, three main 10 millimeters we need to get off, but there's gonna be a bracket here and here and, and, and here. So probably three more additional bolts we're gonna get out. And this may be, maybe for a wire loom that's running up there. So I like to use the, uh, the new parts to, as a guide or reference to uh, help me remove so things. You can see the dipstick tube here is bolted up to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bolt there. And then right here is another bolt that, uh, that goes to it. So I'm gonna remove this bolt here. Get to here. those uh, bolts and now I'm gonna use one of my favorite uh, tools in my toolbox, which is uh, my, it's my long, super long flex head uh, ratchet. This is an 810 combo wrench. It's made by Mountain. Pretty awesome little wrenches. I, um, I've been using them for about a year now and uh, I like them so much that I, uh, I got them on my website at powerautomotive.com on the tools and product page. I offer them there. Uh, I like to offer tools and, and stuff that I use on a daily basis so that I know that they're trusted tools. So if you guys are interested in that, head over to the howtoautomotive.com uh, website and check out the tools and products. The page. bolt out of the dipstick tube, I just pulled it straight up. And it just has, at the, at the other end, it just has a rubber grommet uh, that stabs into the oil pan. So you just pull it up. And set it aside. The for dipstick's now. out of the way. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this uh, bolt here, and that holds the wire loom harness on here. And then once that's out of our way, then I'm gonna lift the vehicle back up and take those three bolts off the, the bolts bottom. Bolts are off down here. We're gonna lift it back up and take the three bolts off, like I said. But I also wanted to point out there's one more hose on there. It's like this little elbow here, and it goes to the bottom of the intake. And um, once we get the bottom bolts out, we may be able to just pull it straight down and pop it off, or we may have to lower it back down and use a screwdriver or something right here, or a pry bar or something, and pop it off. So once you get the last bolt out, it's going to rain oil on you, so you want to uh, have a bucket ready to catch it. So now that it's uh, free, we're going to lower it back down. Now we're back down, I just took my hand in here, and I wiggled the hose and popped it off. Now you should be able to maneuver the... Uh, oil filter housing out of the car now that the oil filter housing is out now you can do a little cleanup in here make sure you clean up your mating surfaces where the uh, where the gaskets ride and stuff really good and uh, and clean it up and then after that we'll so reinstall now, it after getting everything cleaned up I went ahead and put on the elbow here on the new part and what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide it down in there and once we get it into position I'm gonna start the top bolt the 10 millimeter bolt here by hand and just start it a few threads, threads and leave it loose and then um, and then we'll lift the vehicle up and we'll start the uh, the three bottom bolts and once those are all started then I'll tighten the, bottom the new bolt. housing in there and I'm gonna start the um, the elbow first on the, on the little port that goes on the bottom of the intake first and then I'm gonna start the 10 millimeter bolt here by hand so the elbow is on and the top bolt is started with just a couple threads now we're gonna lift it up. now that you got all three of the main bolts started you can go ahead and tighten those up so now I got it back down I'm gonna go ahead and finish tightening up the uh, top bolt here then I'll put the hose on the vent hose that goes to the top of the uh, top of the valve cover here the top bolt is tight go ahead and plug in the electrical connector for the uh, heater now that the bolts are on and the electrical connector is plugged back in I'm going to fish the uh, the vent hose down down through the intake here and then uh, I'm going to use these European style clamps and I'm going to basically put a hose clamp here and then a hose clamp down there Let's cover off here and then we want to take the negative battery cable off Put the hose clamp on on the bottom here. I'm using my little flex head uh, um, screwdriver here, torque driver, and um, you want to make sure that you dis make double check that you got that battery disconnected. Right next to it is the power feed for the alternator. So if you if you accidentally uh, touch your tool to that, you will, you will arc out. So make sure you got your battery negative battery cable disconnected. So go ahead and tighten that clamp up, and then. You're going to tighten the After clamp up. your vent hose secure, now you're just going to take your dipstick tube and slide it down just past the uh, the uh, lower radiator hose and you can see it from up top and you can see the oil and just slide it in there. I recommend you put a little dab of grease on the uh, on the rubber o-ring then you can put the uh, start your bolt 
and uh, tighten that up. Dipstick is uh, resecured. I'm gonna go ahead and slide the air box assembly back into its position and snap it back into the little the rubber box and snap back into place like this. I'm gonna reach my hand down here. I'm gonna reinstall the uh, the wire loom down below so you can maneuver it with your fingers and, and, and re-slide it in. And I'll reach around back and restart the torque bolt. Then in here, I'll hold the wire loom in. Once that's in place, then I'll I'll stab the uh, the electrical connector so I'll, I'll plug it in. So I'll make sure my lock is fully back like this. Or I'll make sure the lock is fully back like this. Plug it in. Once it's plugged all the way in, then I'll push the lock in back into place, the lock tab in. You want to make sure that that is fully locked. And then give it a little tug, make sure it doesn't unplug. Then you could do the same thing for the uh, the top one. Now the computers are plugged back in. I'm going to take the co top cover here and just slide it, line it up with the little grooves on the side and then slide it back into position and lock it in. Go ahead and plug the mass airflow sensor back in. Make sure it clicks. And you can take your uh, your vacuum hose and you just put it in the nipple and push and, and give it a little pull, make sure it doesn't pop back out. You can take the top cover, go ahead and put it back into position and tighten all the torque bolts. Now you can take your little inlet tube here, uh, plug it in here, start the bolt, plug in the two vacuum hoses and start the, uh, the bolt down below and then tighten it. After you get the inlet pipe all secured, um, I went ahead and I checked in the new filter new um, factory uh, housing came with the filter in it i don't know if it's going to be in there if you use an aftermarket one so i would double check that so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to lift it back up and i'm going to drain the oil out and uh and just do it finish an oil change and then put the lower shield back on and i'm going to fill it up with proper fluid uh reconnect my battery cable put the cake put the cover back on and uh once that's all, all done, that'll complete the job of replacing the oil filter housing on a 2007 Volvo C70. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. I encourage you to uh, subscribe and invite you to head over to the howtoautomotive.com website for more valuable videos like this. Thank you again.